Hello, welcome to another Tip Tuesday. I'm Kevin M. Craft with KevinMCraft.com. Writing effective prose involves choosing the right words, uh, choosing the right words and involves infusing them with the right emotion. I'm going to talk today about writing, well, two things, action scenes and love scenes. Now we're going to make a distinction between between the different types, so uh, this won't get too hot and heavy with the, with the love scenes or anything like that. So I'll spend, bear with me with that. It's all about the words you use and the emotions you're trying to convey. With an action scene, as with it, with any scene, the, word, the choice of words you use is everything. Not just the choice of words you use, but the lengths of your sentences, and not just the lengths of your sentences but the detail that you reveal in those sentences. Dobro and the Bottlenecker uh, books uh, have a lot of action scenes in them and they also have some love scenes. So I'm going to be referring to some of those scenes and maybe even reading a, a couple passages for you to, get, to let you know uh, what I'm talking about, give you an example of what I'm talking about. But when you're writing uh, scenes like these, you're dealing with raw emotion. And if, you're, if it's from a character's point of view, you are dealing with the very emotions that they are feeling uh, in the very midst of an action scene or a romantic scene. Uh, so you have to have all that in, in your writing as if you're, you're fighting in their skin, as it were. What are they feeling? You know, what are they doing? What are they, what are they hearing? All their senses. When you're, when you're in an, a heightened emotional state, but better we be it a romantic one or a violent one, everything matters. Everything makes a difference as far as what you're describing to your readers. Let's take an action scene first. And I'm gonna take this scene from my book, Bringing Down the House. It's the third in the Dobro the Bottlenecker book series. Listen as I read. Movement coming from a narrow aisle created by four long racks of chairs placed end to end. And then a young male voice shouted out from the shadows, Dobro, look out! The right, Dobro snapped, and May turned her gun toward the approaching shadow, took less than a split second to recognize the threat, a man in a t-shirt, jeans, and a light-colored blazer, not one of theirs. She fired once, hearing the man cry out with the impact, but she only winged him and he was still coming, fueled by rage and pain. And someone else, from her left, pushing Su Jin and Mariko ahead, go! She braced herself as the first man collided with her, turning her hip to deflect some of the force and throw him off balance. At the same time, the second man and Dobro converged with a mighty smack of bone and muscle. Her attacker spun her around like a rag doll so that her back was against his chest. He pressed a forearm against her larynx, the buttons of his pink silk blazer cutting off her voice and her breath, while at the same time he brandished a clock. Remembering her extensive training and trying to work past the adrenaline already flooding her body, which threatened to lock up her joints, she gripped his forearm with her left hand and, and his bicep in her right and raised his elbow, slipping out from his grasp. Maintaining her grip on the gunman's wrist, she twisted and pulled further misaligning bones and nerves, turning in a circle, forcing him to move where she willed. She pulled him closer, controlling his gun hand. He snarled in her ear, likely would have bitten her if she hadn't hesitated. And she rammed her right elbow into his jaw as hard as she could, hearing the hollow clack of his teeth as they slammed together, heard the pop of his dislocated jaw and his corresponding grunt of pain. And she felt his grip slacken slightly just enough for her to break his wrist, the snap loud. You see how the use of word actually generates the emotion behind it. Could you feel the excitement of the scene, the excitement from Dobro's point of view, the excitement from, uh, from the other characters as well? That's what I mean. You have to infuse your, your prose with emotion. And you notice sometimes that the sentences are really long to keep the tension building. Sometimes they're very short to keep the tension building, you know, from one moment to the next. But let's go to a romantic scene now. Mm. 
May sighed again and said, I've never spoken to anyone to this depth, but I find myself wanting to trust you as well. Dobro appreciated this profoundly. He was moved by her raw sincerity, and he was about to tell May thank you when he heard her stand again, heard her switch off her walkie-talkie, and then she was there in front of him, again, mere inches separating them. His heart hammered in his chest as she leaned in close to gently remove his sunglasses, as Su Jin had done. As she folded them and placed them on the desk there beside him, he felt the brush of her untucked shirt tails. Her touch, her right palm against the left side of his face, was perfect. Her skin so incredibly smooth and soft, it astonished him. He pondered the irony of May, such an initially cold and hard personality possessing such physical gentleness, and he lamented never realizing this until today. Hers was a welcome healing touch, and he reflexively placed his hand upon her, perceiving her vulnerability at an almost imperceptible tremor. Even her singular temperance could not mask entirely. She was putting her heart and pride and hopes on the line to express her feelings toward him in no uncertain terms. Then, without a word, he felt her bend slowly towards him, her soft hair even longer now than he remembered, coming down like a soft curtain on either side of their faces. The cool caress of her breath upon his face preceded the exquisite, warm press of her full, supple lips upon his. You'll notice I employed some of the same techniques to the love scene that, that I did to, to, the, to a scene of violence. It's because it's all emotion. They're emotionally driven, emotionally heightened scenes. So if you can learn to do that, and, and, and if you've, you know, kind of use your words wisely. And be economical, but be knowledgeable with your word usage. That's the most important thing about writing an effective scene, and it'll keep your, reader, your, your readers reading down the page, as I always say, finding out what's going to happen next. And that's what you want. You want them turning the pages, which is why, of course, they're called page turners. Okay? So it's a little food for thought about, about, writing, about writing action scenes and love scenes or any highly emotional scene. Put yourself in your character's skin and write it from that perspective. You can find out more about me and my work at kevinmcraft.com. I want to thank you again for joining me for another Tip Tuesday. I'll see you next time.